This might be my favorite look of all of them, honestly, with the red and the gold and the black. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Adam and Tyler World. Thank you for joining me today. It is your WWE World Heavyweight Champion, none other than Seth freaking Rollins. No, I'm not him. But I'm wearing a shirt, and I got the belt, or at least the replica version. So I got this belt a few weeks ago, this beauty. You can check out. I'll put a link in the description down below. You can check out the review of this belt. We're not going to review this belt, but we're going to check out the side plates that I have. We're going to put them on there, see which ones we like, which ones we don't like. Someone was nice enough to comment that a few weeks ago. and went, oh yeah, that's a really good idea. So we're doing that in this video. Here are my 11 side plates. We're going to go through them one at a time. we got AJ Styles, Brock Lesnar. He's in a lot of hot water right now. The Undertaker, Finn Balor, Triple H, John Cena, The Rock, Seth freaking Rollins, at least his old side plates. we got Kevin Owens and Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. So here is the World Heavyweight Championship with the stock side plates. We're going to flip it over. And you just unscrew it from the back. you got two flathead screws on this side and two flathead screws on that side. So I'm going to loosen them up right now and flip it over. First off, we're going to do the AJ Styles side plates. This is just a little wood thing I made, a little thing to hold on the wall. I flip it over, and I've got these two Phillips head screws on this side and two for this side for each one of the side plates. So I've taken the screws off. I'm going to take each side plate, place it over here, right on top of that. Hopefully it fits. I noticed before when I tried to do the other title belts, some of the plates didn't work and didn't fit. So there's the first one. Take the second one, place it right there. That one fit in a lot better than that one for some reason. But there we go. That's what it would look like if AJ Styles won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. Pretty nice if you ask me. Here it is at an angle. Pretty sick. Next up, we've got the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar side plates. Um, if you don't collect belts, or if you want to be doing it for a little bit of time, you don't realize that for some reason, these belts, the gold, or gold on them, oxidizes and leaves these little, little spots. It's kind of a bummer, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm not spending $7,000 for real gold, so this is what's going to happen. So here we go. That's what it looked like right here. If Brock Lesnar ever came back from the controversy and beat Seth Rollins or whoever was the current World Heavyweight Champion and became champion, but I doubt that will ever happen. This might be my favorite look of all of them, honestly, with the red and the gold and the black. Before I get into the Undertaker's side plates, if you're wondering how I made these, I just cut these rectangular pieces of wood at work. I measured out where the holes would go and I just drilled them and I have these screws with a washer right here to make sure that the side plate doesn't fall out. And I got a little thing right here to, to hang it onto the wall and just put a screw or nail into the wall and this just locks in right there. Here we are, the third side plates, the Undertaker. It's kind of a basic looking side plate. As you can see, this one doesn't fit for some reason. I don't know why, you have to kind of squeeze it in there. Just like everybody else, no one does their job perfectly, and this is no exception. And we take the second one, put it right over here, trying to beat this one to death. This hole on this side plate is obviously larger than this one because I'm having trouble getting the side plates into this one, but this one just goes right in smoothly. But here we go, this is if it look, what it would look like if The Undertaker won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt, but it's pretty much known that he's retired and gone, so. This will probably be the only time you see him like this. It's a cool view right there. Next up we got Finn Balor. And if you look at these, these are cool looking side plates. A lot of them are similar. The ones you've seen so far, the AJ Styles, Bart Lesnar, and The Undertaker, their side plates are identical, but every once in a while you get a wrestler and they have two different side plates. So this one of course says his name. This is before he was in Judgment Day. And I'm guessing this won't fit in perfectly. Hey, I'm right. And then we've got this one right here, which says Balor. If you have a really keen eye, and if the camera will pick it up, you can see that the B, the A, the L, and the R are a little more yellow. And that's because they're the original pieces that came with it. This O piece right here is a piece of vinyl I had to cut at work. Because one day I found a piece of uh, white on the floor, and I couldn't figure out what it was. It was like a toothpick. And I almost threw it away. Actually, I did throw it away. And then I went to throw it away so it would get dumped. 
and it was still there and I was like, what is this piece? And I couldn't figure it out. So then I threw it away. And then, I don't know, three days later, a week later, I realized, oh, there's no white right here. That piece had fallen out. And so now I had to replace it, but only you and I will just see that. Maybe you can tell a little bit right now and kind of pick it up. But visually it doesn't look too bad, but in my soul, I know it's there. But as you can see, all those oxidized spots, geez, Louise, it's, these side plates just hang up on the wall all the time. I don't realize it, but that looks awful. A few moments later. Just a little behind the scenes for you guys, but when I was cleaning these off and putting them back, the L came off and the O started curling up, so it's all coming into pieces. But whatever, it is what it is. So here we go. This is a higher chance of happening, but still not really realistic for Finn Balor to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. But if he did, I guess back in the day, if, if he won it now, there's no way they'd just use these side plates right here. But this is what it looks like right here for everyone to see. If this was the belt back then and he won it. It's got a nice pop to it. That one's actually about to pop out because it doesn't fit. Now we have Triple H, the King of Kings side plates. Another set of side plates that are identical on the left and the right. This one's going to look really sick. I can already tell. Yep, that's a beautiful looking belt right there. There's six side plates right there. This also is not a possibility, even though Triple H gave himself every title, but he's basically retired now because he's a heart condition. So you once again will not see this in real life, unless you go right here to this video or one of the other thousands of videos that post the same thing. <laughs> I doubt it. Here's our second set of side plates that are different. So we got John Cena. These are the first side plates that have no color on them besides the black and the gold. That's how I have them separated. If you go back and look, I got the ones with any bit of color on the left and the blank ones on the right. So we got John Cena. You can't see me right here. And then we got the hustle, loyalty, respect with the thumb and the fingers and the hand right here on the right. So this side plate is definitely something. Oh, there we go. Got to fit in. Maybe there's something to work with on this one. Maybe I'm not doing it right. No, that's just this this side plate. Well, not side plate. This, I guess this whole side plate right here is definitely smaller. But there we go. Another wrestler that will probably never win the World Heavyweight Championship belt in John Cena. There we go. There's a cool view of it right there. And here we've got the Rock side plates. These, I'm pretty sure, were the first ever side plates ever made. Because when he had the WWE Championship back in, I believe, 2013, when he won it from CM Punk, he came out with the championship belt and he had the side plates on him. Everybody's like, what the heck are those? But there we go. There's what it looks like at an angle. Pretty sick, but also another wrestler that will probably never win this title. But still looks really cool. Here's the current champion, Seth Rollins. But if you know anything about wrestling, he's got a new set of side plates. But... I don't have those, so we're going to make do with these side plates right here. Still cool looking side plates if you ask me. And there it is at an angle. And just like before, he's actually the champ, but these are not the side plates. And that fell out. <laughs> Let's put it back. But yeah, Still cool looking belt even with these side plates right here. I actually like these better than the current ones. The current ones are kind of bland if you ask me. And here are the Kevin Owens side plates. We got the KO on the left side. And we got the Fight Owens fight on the right side. Of any of the wrestlers I've showed you the side plates, he has, in my opinion, the highest chance of actually ever becoming the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Sick looking belt right there. Now we've got the Apex Predator, Randy Orton right here. Now this one's a little confusing because the snakes are looking out right here. I believe that's correct because I actually prefer it like this where they're looking in. So they're actually looking at the belt when you put them on, but I believe they go the other way. So we're going to put this one over here on the left side. And then we'll put this one over here on the right side. And there we go. This is another wrestler who has a chance at winning this championship belt, but I don't think he's going to. He's a little bit older. 
but he is Randy Orton. He could always pull it off. Let's see, there's an angled view. Here's a little hidden Easter egg for anybody that's watching this far. So I got the dimensions right here. I didn't even realize it, but if anybody comments, I will not let them know. I will only let you guys know because you were nice enough to watch this far. So the whole thing is 10 inches wide, five inches tall. And if you go to the center of the circles, it's three and a half inches and the circles are three eighths in diameter. And then I just have a one and a half inch gap between the center of the circle. So if you drill it perfectly like that, it will line up with your side plates. So let's flip this over. And this final guy, this guy has the least chance, unfortunately, of ever becoming the WWE World Heavyweight Champion because he unfortunately passed a few months ago. That's Bray Wyatt the Fiend. And put them right here. That one fit in nicely. That's like the first one, maybe second one to fit in nicely. So there's a little bit of variation with these side plates. But there it is right there. We'll angle it so you can kind of see a little bit better with the shine. This will unfortunately never happen. And there it is, back to normal with the default side plates. Just make sure when you're doing this, when you're putting these on, if you're not used to this, even if you've been doing this for a long time, just when you put these in, you gotta make sure it's perfectly straight. I put them in with my hand first, just slowly to make sure I get it in there straight, because if you just put them in there, you start twisting with a screwdriver, you're likely to cross thread them and strip them, and then you can't get them off or back on, you just ruin everything, so. Be very careful. You spent money on this. Be smart with your money. And there you have it. That is my World Heavyweight Championship belt with all of my side plates. I Unfortunately, that's all I got is the 11 sets, but they still look pretty cool. I would lean towards the Brock Lesnar or the Triple H side plates as my favorites. Maybe the Undertaker is my least favorite just because of all the purple. But who knows? Maybe you like the purple instead better than I do. I'm wearing a purple hat, so I can't hate purple. But that is it. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And as always, I do appreciate it greatly. Until next time, peace.